Hi there. It's August the 7th and we're continuing our journey through Paul's letter, the first letter to the Corinthians. And we're in chapter 3 reading from verses 5 to the end of the chapter in verse 23. So Paul is concluding or he's continuing his teaching concerning the place of the different teachers that the Corinthians have been ranging themselves behind. Apollos, Peter, Paul, even Jesus. And he's taking them to task about how they are incorrectly seeing the importance of individuals. He actually says that they're all part of the same work. He says that whether it's Apollos, whether it's himself, they're all servants to them, servants to the church for the sake of building up in Christ. And he says actually they can't build on anyone's teaching. They can't use celebrity as a basis for following Jesus. It has to be only Jesus himself. In fact, Paul says if anyone builds on any other foundation other than that which is laid, then it's not, it's worthless, it's useless. There's only one foundation we can lay, Messiah, Jesus. And in fact, everything that's built on that, Paul then says, is um, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble. There are different materials in a sense we build our lives on. And Paul points to something uh, very important, particularly for those who are teaching, Um, Because actually all of their works, all of their teachings, all of our works and our teachings are going to be tested by fire. There's going to be uh, a a moment where we gaze into the eyes of Jesus, as it were, and all of our lives are going to be assayed, are going to be tried. And that which is gold, silver and precious stones will last. That which is wood, hay and stubble will be consumed. This is why Jesus says, store up for yourself treasures on earth. There's so much that we think of as being valuable in our lives here on earth that is actually wood, hay, stubble, will disappear because it's not eternal. The things that are eternal are actually relationships, are actually people, not the things, not the material stuff, but the people who will continue. And in fact, Paul says something very interesting here. Remember, this is a Jew who is writing in the time of the Second Temple, and he is saying that actually... God's people, God's followers of Jesus are the temple. And he says, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit and God's God's spirit is dwelling in you and you are God's habitation. It's not about a building. It's not about a, 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 a structure. It's actually about the people of God. And therefore he says that the, the servants who are serving them, Paul, um, Apollos, actually are are theirs. They belong to the people of God. This is an amazing statement that Paul makes at the end of this reading, where he says that everything belongs to you. You know, so often we have divided in the Church of the Messiah along tradition lines, along confession lines, along doctrinal lines. Paul is actually saying something revolutionary here that we need to take hold of, that we have a heritage for ourselves of everyone, everything that contributes to the good news of Jesus being known, whether it's from our own particular tradition or not. And we really need to take hold of this fact that Jesus has prayed for, in John 17, Jesus prayed that we should be one. And therefore we should also be receiving all of these amazing things because uh, those who have been given by God to the church are to build up the people of God through Messiah Jesus, not to form movements, not to form personal theologies. And everything, Paul says, belongs to you. Not just Paul, Apollos and Peter, but the world, life, death, present, future. Everything is ours because we belong to Messiah, the Son of God. What an amazing promise that is for us. Let's benefit from all God gives to us and enjoy it and learn from it. Have a very good August the 7th.